Today I'm gonna to show you a technique that even Polaroid doesn't know you can do with the new Polaroid i2 camera. Have you ever had a problem with too much contrast in one of your images where the shadows block up and the highlights just blow out? Using this technique, which is a pre-exposure, you can take a black and white image from looking like this and make it look like this. You can take a color image that looks good and like this, but make it even better looking like this. Let me now take a couple of minutes and I'll show you how to do that technique with this camera. Okay, so the first thing, what is pre-exposure? Pre-exposure is adding a small unit of light, a tiny little bit of light to an exposure before you take the primary exposure. What that does is it brings up the threshold of the film, what's called the minimum speed point of the film. That minimal amount of energy that's necessary before a piece of film starts to record actual detail. Um, on film film, like 35 millimeter, 120 color negative black and white film, it's 0 0.10 over base plus fog. That's some technical stuff that you don't need to know. But on instant film, like Polaroid, it's a little murkier. So I came up with a way, using the new i2 camera, of getting a pre-exposure. So by doing a pre-exposure, what we're doing is we're lessening the contrast of the individual Polaroid. And what that brings to you is the ability of having better shadow detail and controlled highlights. I'm sure all of you have experienced black and white images where the blacks get really dark and amazing, but you might wish you had a little detail. Or the contrast, the ratio between the black and the white was just too high. Same thing is true with color. You might have a great color image, but you just wish the contrast was a little bit lower. So let me outline the techniques that you have to do in order to make that work with the i2 camera. So the only special piece of equipment that you're gonna need to do this beyond your camera and film is a card like this. Now this is a photographic 18% gray card, but you don't need something fancy like this. Just a piece of cardboard, anything. It doesn't matter if it's white, gray, doesn't really matter. Uh, you don't want it to be a color though. You'd like to have it be something neutral. So some sort of gray, you know, a shade of white would be the best. And you don't want there to be any kind of texture or anything on it. It should be smooth. So once you have this, you're in business. So the way this works is you're gonna turn your camera on and you're gonna set your camera to multiple exposure, which you can see right there. And you want it set to two shots. So the hack for this is treating the first shot as if it is the pre-exposure and then having your second shot be your primary exposure. Works like a champ. When you have this set to multiple exposure, if you look to the camera and press the button halfway, what you'll notice is the camera is underexposing that image by one stop. What we wanna do then on top of the camera here is go on the compensation dial we want to go minus one, minus two. So you want to go all the way to minus two on that first exposure. In zone system, if anybody's geeky out there and is into the zone system, what that's doing is taking that first exposure, instead of making a normal exposure, it's making zone four, zone three, zone two, which is a perfect pre-exposure for instant material. So, but in, in layman's terms, if you just want to know how to do it, on your first shot, go to minus two. Then what you wanna do is take your gray card or smooth surface and make sure it's filling the frame. I found that with something this big, the distance I'm at right now is perfect. An eight by 10, if I put the, the minimal parallax correction line at the very bottom, it perfectly fills the frame at 0.4 meters. That's all you wanna do. And what you do is you take a picture of this gray card. You can also, let's say you were doing this in a studio environment, if you got a smooth wall, that's fine as well. Um, it doesn't need to be super fancy, but the biggest thing is neutral in tone and about eight by 10, and you wanna make sure that it's evenly illuminated. You don't wanna have half the card in the sun, half the card in the dark. You want to be evenly illuminated like it is right now. So you take your first picture. Then what you do on the camera for your second photo, just put it back to the zero setting and take your picture and let the camera do what it's gonna do on the second shot. And what you'll find is that immediately you have this perfect balance of contrast. Now, other ways to control contrast and Polaroid beyond pre-exposure would be using things like auxiliary lighting, using things like a reflector, using things like the built-in flash. 
But all of that gives a very different look than doing a pre-exposure. Yes, it adds an extra step, but it's amazing that it's a wonderful hack that you can do in the i2 camera. And I, for one, use it anytime I've got a really difficult scene. This solves all the problem. Now, a little tip that I'll give you. On the first exposure, I always recommend going the minus two. On the second exposure, play around with it. I said to shoot it at zero, but sometimes, depending on how bright the subject is, you might want to go like plus one. Sometimes, you might want to go like minus one third. There's a lot of control right there that you can do, but a technique like the pre-exposure, the whole purpose is we're finding a way to take the narrow latitude that Polaroid film has and make it fit better everyday scenes. Thank you very much for listening. I can't wait to hear your thoughts. Now go shoot some film.